With a population of 630, Kotlik solid waste requirements aren't much different than other communities out in the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta. The water tables are low and high ground is rare. But that didn't stop residents from improving what they had going on. For starters, the landfill is a quarter mile away across two major river channels. That means solid waste must be transported in winter and summer. Armed with a $40,000 YKCA grant, residents purchased a snow machine, a trailer, and an ATV to haul trash across the river. work that's you know tied with uh, solid waste you know, our landfill workers they didn't have any um, any sort sort of equipment to, to tackle down their uh, their solid waste issues <clears throat> so that was one of our one of our reasons or that led us to apply for the uh, the grant Was the budget a challenge for you to figure out, or, is, or you done that before? To help, uh, you know, improve our solid waste management practices. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, like having our landfill operators haul the community members' trash, because in the past we had problems where residents to haul their own uh, waste to the dump that you know they, were, they weren't disposing their waste properly. Christopher Akita Chunik, one of two solid waste workers in that community, explains how they separate the non-burnables from the burnables and stage goods to be hauled to the center trench. Unfortunately, last fall's flood wreaked havoc on a staging area Part of the grant had bought the fencing to go around the staging area. That all got destroyed. So, the residents of Codlick will have to rebuild. 